the bitch thinks that she can write lies about somebody and, and not uh, get some kind of punishment when police don't help, think it over. And if I wouldn't have done it, I would never have had this interview with the Hulu father. She must expect that. They know I do this. Don't, don't do it. Don't take the money. Don't do it. Tell the truth and give some of a suction. Do it the right way, after the law. I said, now, this is directly criminal, what she's done. It is. This is a, a normal circumstances, it's, it's document for falsehood. To write the wrong things about a, a, a human being is really, uh, comes in under document for falsehood. No, but in the... Mm -hmm. And this is uh, quite serious uh, uh, when it has to do with, with uh, somebody being a care person or some other person not used for a court case. When are you? Because you really should read up your whole. Uh, well, I don't think that, that, that I read up. I guess I will also get asked. Everybody can read. Kind of yeah, but they will not uh, uh, look at it. You have to kind of explain all uh, uh, what's there. Mm. Wouldn't tell it. Wouldn't it really and again, it. also you are a witness. That this is Charles never neglected in the care. This is also lie. Yeah, okay. yeah, but this you also lie about. <laughs> yeah, this is the. Yeah. Be the, the, the crucial point. Mm -hmm. No, the conclusion is the crucial point. No, I but it's what I can yeah. uh, witness for. The, 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 the yeah, yeah, plus you were started. witness of the telephone call there. Yeah. Yeah. Normally they will ask to have some last things to say. It seems I'm not allowed to do that. Yeah. Normally you will have that. No, when you're accused, I think you have the right to in the end say something. You know, so see here, when in the end, the lawyers make the abstruse and the in like, like when you are the accused in a court case, then in the end you are always allowed if you have something to add. In this case, you are the klager, not the beklagte. So rather they would have something to say. Uh, uh, I think they have the last word. CBU is always supposed to have the priority to uh, bring the uh, child back to the biological family. In this case, it's being done the opposite. That everything is getting done. And yeah, but from everything I've read so far, this is what they seem to do all the time. This is, seems to be what CBU does. <laughs>
Den har en av... Igjen? Ja, du er mjuker nå. Ah, ok. Så, jeg har mikrofon. Skal du se, jeg har mulig. Jeg har også 
også eskalert nå igjen, altså det har vært faser, og i hvordan kan kalle det de gode fasene, så har det vært muligheter og hvor et samarbeid også kan for eksempel ha et samarbeid på best mulig måte, og det er mulig med en dialog om det. Jeg har også nå vært de siste seminarene fra i ting her, jeg kan si at det skal være til da, men det er jo litt i to år siden, kanskje vi har hatt i to år siden, i det. Etter det så har det ikke vært, hva skal jeg si, noen perioder hvor det har vært mer at noen har vært med sammen. Nei, det har det vært, for det er kontakten som har vært, hvor det oppleves som intensiv og veldig klar på de her beskyldningene, antagene, eller hvor tenker man seg klar, og det er ikke mulig hvis du prøver å si noe, og så kommer man ikke noe, det ble ikke lyttet til. Du prøver å gå inn til oppfølgelsen, så har det nok ikke.
Why should you be scared for the ask for the road? She's, she's full of lies. Thank you. 
Hagen, så har han skolesatt i det her tiltak, som blir følt tilbake, og det tar vi fram til bare skolen, som skolen som ikke bor på bilsatt. Nå er det vanskelig på vei. Ja, i den her kan du det ta en gang her. Er du kjent med at det er noe som er støtt i rundt og rundt og rundt, eller at det er noe som er noe som er noe? Nei, akkurat det har vi ikke hørt før. Men hun har jo flere, jeg tror det er to eller tre ulike Facebook-sider med litt ulike navn. En skille er på litt ulike måter inni. Og så er det jo en del på YouTube. Har dere ikke skyldt med noe annet for at det blir noe vanskelig for å få stemme stå der? Ja, det har vi vært jobbet for flere ganger. I den perioden det er størst trøkk, om du kan si det sånn, og det har jo vært i den perioden hvor det resten av det. Hvor det altså har vært fjerne ganger til en besøksforbund, men ikke bare for det. Så vi har opparbeidet her nå, i fjor, og så har vi fått en avtale med politiet, hvor vi har sett samarbeidet og har egen kontakter som politiet, som med en gang, sånn at det ikke skal være Det er vanskelig å satse på How does they do they connect that logically? I tell you what you say. It's all good shit. Ja, det er 
ikke er frisk, men samvær blir gjennomført på bare et godt samvær? Ja, og så er det jo viktig å være nyansert. Så jeg tenker at hun hadde jo, og på her har det vært en veldig viktig plan av syns at vi sier at hun var syk, og så tenker jeg at hun hadde en del av vårt barn med psykose, og så ble hun medisinert og ble bedre, ikke sant? Så det er ikke noe jeg har hjemme fra, det er det som er syk, og så har man bare syk. Men så får hun bedre seg, og da synes hun var helt fysisk. Jeg kan ikke gå helt til et vanlig pappa, så jeg har bare tenkt på hvordan jeg har 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 tenkt på Informer henne om at jeg har sagt at Helena ikke skal ta videre henne og forklare hvorfor. Parentes mistanke om lovmerket, Facebook, etc. Vi har snakket om dette før også. Så da var vel Facebook et tema den gangen nå, og i den perioden som jeg leste. Ja, det har vært, om man kan kalle det en tema, Forstår du at mor blir bekymret når det i disse samværsrapportene står at fosterforeldrene blir så sinnende og så til samvær og alt som sagt som mor har med inkjøpskolene, men når du kan da avkreftes noe eller? Vi har som sagt prøvd å være og snakke med mor og være med 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 og være
they, they say they have tried to take contact with me, to have talk with me, a couple of conditions. You must witness that this has not happened. I witnessed that, but uh, I believe you that it hasn't happened. Yeah, please witness this. Because this is a lie. He's talking about the last two years. She's talking about the last two years. But once. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mm. Vem var liksom har det samma kvar med henne? Det var lägen. Det var lägen. Mm. Det var inte någon av det jag existerade. Mm. Nej. Mm. Och det har aldrig haft någon samtal med en sin katt. Nej. Och en samtal med en egen katt. Nej. Nej. Mm. Nej. Mm. Nej.
kan ikke ta til noe utfordringer med å la være å sette i gang noe før eller noe før And uh, the reason why they don't want to sell me is what I told you. They are afraid I would take get evidence. Because you have to be home with the child with extra needs, which you never have. But they grabbed this money to everything they could do. Yeah, I'm going to do this. 
The judge is writing what CPU say about Anne Maria's head. <laughs> this must be said by a doctor. Allowed, I would send gifts. This is crazy. They try to say that I was allowed to say gifts is a lie. Because it's your turn. So. <laughs> Hello. Phillips, the P H I L I double P S. And date of birth? Twelfth in April in sixty nine. And you have the same address as exactly. uh, mother Tomorrow. In your occupation. Uh, I'm a music producer and composer. Yeah, you live together with mother. Uh, we live together since uh, February two thousand nineteen. We are a couple since uh, October two thousand eighteen. When you are going to give a testimony here, then you are obliged to tell what you need and what you know about. But what is um, what is uh, giving you any information which is confidential? Confidential. Yeah, yeah confidential mm -hmm. or personal. Then you don't have to, to tell that. Otherwise, you uh, you have to. <laughs> Tell what you need and what you can. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. Um, you are now going to give evidence before the court. Uh, as the proceeding judge, it's my duty to inform you that you are obliged to tell the plain and whole truth and not to conceal anything that may be of relevance to the case. According to penal code, the punishment for making a false statement to the court is imprisonment of maximum five years. I will ask you to make an affirmation that the evidence you know are about to give is the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Do you affirm that you will pay the plain and whole truth and not conceal anything? Anything? Of course. Yeah, if that is the case, repeat after me. I do so solemnly affirm. I do so evidence. solemnly confirm, if I got you right. Solemnly. Solemnly confirm. confirm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Have you? Uh, do you know? Yeah, I'm going to get a get a question. Ah, okay. That was my question. Good. Yes. Uh, the procedure is that I start asking you questions, and then uh, the 
lawyer for Barnabana, who will ask you questions, and then the father's lawyer, and Sachinde, and then the court. Okay. If there are any questions. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, for how long you have known uh, Elena? Yeah. Uh, we got to know each other, I think, in 2005 already. In those days, I was uh, running a recording studio uh, near the Dutch border. And uh, this is how she came uh, to my studio. When we Actually, it was the time of the first uh, Angel solo album. Um, that we helped become a couple for the first time was in uh, 2009. So we have been a couple from October 2009 to, let's say, September 2012. So almost for, for exactly three years. Yes. Uh, can can you talk uh, a little bit about uh, how you uh, how was how the how was uh, Elena in that period? Can you tell a little bit about uh, Elena and the uh, You mean in those three years in that we've been together? Yeah, of course I can. Um, actually, I. Uh, from what I've seen, like like Helena was the most devoted mother you could imagine. Like like uh, the angel actually was her everything. Uh, I think you might know that she herself has had a difficult childhood. So uh, what she wanted for her daughter was that, that she would have it better. So I was there for um, in these three years, ten times, maybe fifteen times. I didn't count. Whenever my professional commitments allowed, I tried to be normal. Because of course she couldn't travel at that time because she had a small daughter. Um, as I perceived the angel, she was a, a child that uh, kind of embraced life with, with, uh, with, with both arms. She was very outgoing, she was very uh, social, um, a healthy, happy child. So what I reacted to so much was when this, this Sarkoni report said that she was neglected in Helena's care. Because from everything I have seen, uh, this couldn't be less the truth. Uh, but if they want to know more, uh, uh, what I mean with, with, with a devoted mother, like, like it was actually kind of hard for me to see like, how she tried to, to uh, make sure that Angel could try out whatever she wanted. Yeah? Helena didn't have so much money at that time. She was in education, she had bought the house and had to pay it off. Uh, but still she made it possible that Angel could, she could ride a horse if she wanted. If she wanted to try playing violin, she got violin lessons. If she wanted to try piano, she got uh, piano lessons. So in her capabilities, she, she tried to, to make everything for a daughter possible, that, that, that was possible. Yes, and that, that was the time period, period, 2009 to 2012, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. Last time I saw Angel was when she had just came to school in Madrid. What did you say? The last time that I saw Angel myself was when she had just come to school in Abbey. So she was uh, six years of age uh, when yes. I saw her last time. And then, then you got back to uh, with uh, Helena in uh, October 2018. That's correct. Exactly six years later. Yeah. Uh, is do you see any difference with Helena today and in 2012? Ah, uh, 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 Of course, in six years we all change. Uh, for, for, for the core of her personality, uh, she's still exactly the same. Uh, but of course, the, the loss of her daughter uh, has kind of uh, uh, cast a shadow on her, uh, how do you say, on, on her own, own well-being. Yeah. Uh, Anna loves her daughter dearly, she always has and she still does. So being departed from her daughter for, for, for such a long time, uh, is something that is, is very, very difficult for her to deal with. And you can, of course, feel that every day when you live with her. But for the rest, she's exactly the same person. Uh, maybe you have to specify if, if you... Uh, uh, my question was in, uh, regarding that... Uh, they are saying that she's uh, psychological sick today. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. if, no. Uh, that she was uh, different then. No, I understand what you mean. 
Uh, let me say first that of course I'm not qualified to have like a professional opinion or anything like that. But let's just say uh, we all agree that I, I wouldn't plan to marry this woman if I was thinking she was psychologically sick. Um, one thing which I'm not sure is, is really understood is, is that uh, Helena is an artist. I mean, I work with artists for 25 years already. So there is a certain uh, kind of personality that comes with artists, yeah? particularly creative artists. Performing artists have more of an athlete state of mind. Uh, creative artists are highly emotional people because what they do, they couldn't do if they were not. Um, uh, creativity thrives on, on, on inspiration. When you start to rationalize over it, you ruin it. Then you get a writer's block. Um, so, of course, some of her reactions are extremely emotional. And I can understand that some of these Facebook activities may be considered problematic. We've been arguing over it often because I don't always agree with that. I'm, I'm different when it comes to that. I'm more rational. But I understand why she does it. And uh, uh, it may be that not everything uh, uh, she, she, she writes there is worried of, is concerned of, is actually in the end the truth. Uh, but I think that does not mean that you can say she is psychologically sick. This you could say if she would have no reason to have these worries. But there is so much evidence that give valid and good reason for her to have these concerns. If some of those may shoot over target, that's a different story, then she is wrong. But that doesn't mean that she's psychologically sick. Every mother who would see like these pictures or who gets asked the questions that Angel asked her would of course get these worries. And then she's completely deprived from having contact with it or she gets no information. Then what happens is of course that your worries spin round and round, they get bigger. And you get highly frustrated and then add to this that she is a very emotional person. Um, so I, I, I don't like to, to classify this as, as, as something sick, because I think it is not. But of course, some of it may be wrong, but we all can be wrong at times. Uh, as you know, uh, uh, Helena, mm -hmm. do you think she would be, could give uh, angel good care? Absolutely. Sir. From all I've seen in these three years, uh, a child couldn't ask for better care than what Angel has got and would still have. I mean, let me ask you back, why do you think she is still making all this effort after all these years? This is just because she loves her daughter that much and because she cares. So, of course, she also would give her good care. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you speak to uh, Sakshin then? Uh, uh, briefly, I, I've been around when, when they had this WhatsApp conversation. Uh, with the, actually, what I talked with her about was the procedures with the COVID uh, 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 quarantine uh, things, because at that point we were still planning to come over for the case. Uh, for the rest, I, I didn't talk with her personally. No. And did you, uh, how, how long did uh, Liam uh, for, for this talk that I was around, it was, I would say, at most 30 minutes. And, and, and it was mostly about uh, uh, the generalized situation that we live together, what she does in music, that she has a horse, and, and that we have uh, dogs. And it was talked a bit about uh, what her ideas would be, what she would want on Samba with her daughter. Uh, it was definitely by no means like a, a proper psychological evaluation or anything like that. It was far too short for it. And also the, the nature of the conversation uh, didn't have that. Yes. Before I uh, let you go and uh, uh, let uh, uh, lawyer Olsen ask you a question, is there anything else you'd like to add? No, actually not, not really. I think I've, 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 I've written uh, in, in that uh, statement what, what I have to say. Um, uh, yes. Uh, Everything has to be uh, oral, so... Uh, then read it all up or no? If, 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 you, if you think there is something that you have written that is uh, yeah, that you do not have uh, thought the court yet, then uh, this is your chance. No, yeah, well, there's one thing that, that, that I, 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 I think about a lot, it is that, that uh, as I say, I find it completely understandable that, that Helena has like these worries, yeah? 
about in order. What I don't understand is, is, is that, I mean, the only thing that could take away any of her worries is what her daughter speaks herself, what Angie will speak herself. I do not understand why they're, they're, uh, she's 13 years of age, why she, she cannot be speak for herself. I don't understand why these hearings with her are made at the CPU office or the foster home office. Because, of course, if her worries are right, she would never speak freely in that kind of environment. Uh, why isn't it that there is like an, an independent uh, Tate's person where she has a safe environment and she knows that what she says is confidential and doesn't go to the foster parents or the CPU workers? So this is something I really miss. And, and of course, I don't know your Norwegian sister. I want to argue with her. I know that in Germany that would not be possible. Yeah. Uh, so this is something that, that puzzles me. Um, because, of course, the only thing that could take Elena's worries away or make it smaller is if she hears from her own daughter that she's okay. Because, of course, that's what she wants as a mother. That's what it's all about. It's, it's a worry for her daughter. The neighbors. personally sure of is that Angel doesn't have it good where she has it because there is like pictures of, of injuries. Okay. Yeah. Could you repeat it? I didn't tell you. Oh sorry. I, I'm sure that she doesn't have it good where she has it. I, I'm sure that she has been exposed to, to forms of neglect. This you can easily read in, in, in what Angel says herself. There is like injuries you see where I of course, you have no explanation where they should come from, or like this, this Christian Heimda uh, document, which, by the way, I have read myself, so it exists, uh, that says that she has blue marks under both her arms. Or, uh, um, so this is things I'm sure about. As it comes for, for, for things like sexual abuse and stuff, I'm much more careful. Yeah? Uh, but I, I do recall that... Uh, that when she, Angel was on Sambo with Helena and then Angel didn't have proper clothes and underwear, Helena has been going shopping underwear with her and saw that she was all red between her legs as an eight-year-old child. So this is something where all my alarm bells are ringing. Yeah? The same goes for these questions she's been asking, why do I have to bath where all the men are looking at me? So this is something I take very seriously, but I cannot confirm that it's true, but I think this is something that would require like, like a police hearing or something that this is not on me to investigate it. But this is concerns I share. Uh, for the rest, when you speak of, 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 of child prostitution or something, I, I prefer to not have an opinion on things I do not have enough information for. Um, and one thing I'm 200% sure of or can testify for is really that the concern messages that started the CPU to take actions were coming from the neighbors who lost the case. This I know, and this is something which I find highly dubious. Because before that, I've seen these kids playing with Angel there, riding on Angel's pony. There was no problem whatsoever. So suddenly when the building case was over and the neighbors had lost it, these people write concern messages. Uh, and this I find highly dubious. Um. I think so. I think so. She was uh, six years of age. Uh, we saw the last time. We spent a lot of time together. Uh, so, to my knowledge, maybe Lena can can give expertise on that. I think that is about from the age of four that you actually have memories back into your childhood. So, I'm sure uh, that she remembers me from from at least from her six years of age. I think so. Do you have any opinion whether she needs therapy if, if she will come back to her, to uh, Amara? Sorry, I didn't I'll understand you again. Uh, Helena, yeah. uh, under her statement, she said that she thought that um, Angel would be in need of therapy. But that depends, of course, on, on, on what her life actually has been, which I don't know, because there's too little information. 
depending on, 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 on what her childhood from age of seven to now has been, it might also be that she needs therapy, but I'm not qualified to know that. But if she okay. needs it, then she will get it. Thank you. I just wonder why uh, why do you say we had just a half hours conversation? Uh, did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you uh, yeah. I, I hear you well. It's not problem. Why, why do you tell just half an hour? Because I think it was just half an hour. It didn't take the exact time, but it wasn't much longer than that, was it? I, I take the time, and it was an hour. It, it may be that my perception may be wrong. To me, it felt relatively short, but as I said, I, I didn't take the time. Doesn't matter. Okay, thanks. But still, also, if it was one hour, that doesn't change something about the bottom line. That, that I think it takes a lot more than that to, to make that a proper psychological evaluation. And I hope you agree with that. Now, um, have you seen all the, the material that is published on uh, Facebook and YouTube and things like that? Um, I'm not sure I've seen, uh, let's say I don't look at it on Facebook or something, but I would think that I, I, I know all the, 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 say the documents in the case and also like the, the pictures of Angel, if that's what you I, I would think yeah, I know so them all, but I don't follow it on Facebook. No, so the amount of, uh, of uh, documents and material and pictures and things like that, you have a certain impression that uh, of, yeah. of what is what yeah. is published. Yeah, I, I think. Do you so. have it all? Is, is there anything that worries you about that publishing? Uh, as I said, uh, Helen and I do not agree on how to use social media. Yeah. Um, so let's say I wouldn't do it that way because I'm a okay, much more why, rational person. Why did you want to do that? Uh, actually, for the reason that I I, I think that uh, some of it is can be damaging to her own case because it's the wrong medium to put it that way in public. But I understand why she does it. You must keep in mind it's not like she hasn't tried all other ways before. Like she hasn't tried to ask the police for help or the CPU office for help. Much of it is frustration. Then out of frustration, she uses the channels she has. And of course, as the artist she is, she has like a, a wider uh, publicity she can reach uh, with, with, with social media. Um, so in a way, it's like a message in the bottle you throw in the digital ocean, hoping the right person picks it up. Uh, but personally, it wouldn't be my way to do it. But uh, do you have any worries about uh, how Angel is uh, taking this? So uh, at least I thought of this. Uh, the, the thing is, I don't even know if she gets anything to see of that or how much she gets to see of it. Uh, honestly, I don't know. But of course, I, I have thought of that, that some of that uh, might not be, be uh, uh, nice for her to, to, to be confronted with it that way, uh, regardless of whether it's true or not. Even if it is true, it may not be uh, uh, necessarily nice for her. On the other hand, I understand Helena's motivation that, that she wants to help, and then maybe this is the this is what she gives priority. Okay. Then there are no further questions for you. Okay. okay. Then you can uh, leave the you scene and. Uh, and uh, Goodbye. Uh, Det hadde vært litt greit at vi går litt på den saken din nå. Nå ser jeg litt rundt meg om 
Du trenger ikke en pause, da skal vi ta en gang i en pause. Men disse var veldig små pausene, de er en toppøse, jeg tror de trenger et kvarter. Og så kan vi samtykke det, og så kan vi kanskje i hvert fall gå opp og spørre ja. det. Det er så jeg tyst viste en negus inn den hvis det hadde vært jeg. Det er veldig fint for deg. Når vi kommer ikke før vi går ut først, og så tar vi alle ut to av kommunen. Nei, det er greit. Trine, Olsen og Valdi. Jeg har sagt at meg først siden jeg er saksøker. Så jeg tror du ikke har noe greit etter. Da får vi si at jeg er en annen. Nå er det en annen. Ja. Men jeg har også sagt det slik, og jeg sier at jeg forstår hva du gjør. Så jeg snakker for deg. Ja. Det er ikke det. Maybe. You say when you get a question, if I'm so psycho, you see, because I'm just saying clearly and strongly, no. Yeah, this is actually what I say. I told him that actually you don't, if, if you read that I would not marry a woman if I would think she's psychologically sick. And I explained why I do think this whole psychologically sick is bullshit. I said that I said, finished with it when she came like whether it was one hour saying that also one hour is nothing to make an evaluation I hope you agree with that But Helena, honestly, please be fair. Like I really, I speak only for you. I, I praise your ability as a mother. I yeah, speak I, I, only I, good. I, this brought me tears in my eyes. What you wrote there, uh, but this, I will turn out of uh, orally because it's orally that counts, not this. I don't think that what I said. Is the cigarette package? Which cigarette package? I have two in my hands. Mm -hmm.
so that it's more people <coughs> who have had the same concerns who have seen the before and after. And I think that I also have to answer the questions I'm asked. So the yeah, but my lawyer gave you the chance to say what you have written orally, because only that counts. He gave you a hint. But it would have been very silly if I would then have to read it all again. No, you have to do that. Only orally, uh, uh, words uh, count. Maybe put it off so it's... Right? I can't 